Hello, old friend. Hey, old friend. How you doing? I'm good, man. I'm good. How are you? Hey, man. I'm good. I don't know if you saw, bro, but uh, I got some good little gains in from the gym. My transformation is finally coming along. Are you strong now? I'm pretty strong, man. You know, I could probably give you a couple. I don't know. I could probably put you up for some. I don't know. I can go at it neck to neck with you in the gym now. Of course you could, Aiden. Of course, you're right. You're 100% right. You definitely could. It's not like I would crush you like a little worm. No, it'd be close. It'd be competitive, wouldn't it? Well. 100%. And, and that's probably why you should have come to Romania without spreading a conspiracy theory all across the internet that I was going to evade my judicial process. <sighs> what? You should have just come here and shown me who's stronger. So you should have done. Um, so about that, I want to apologize publicly. Um, I never really try to make you go back to jail. Uh, that was a very, very big mess up on my behalf. And I'm sorry, you know, you know, I'll f with you. You in some way helped change my life because now I'm lifting strong weights and I'm not a drug addict anymore. And, you know, I've been on my shit, So I'm sorry about that. How long are you going to not be a drug addict for before you decide to start again? What makes you think I'm going to relapse? Bro, you always do. You end up slipping lean and being an idiot. Again. I'm the most I'm the most strong I've ever been in my entire life. Have you not you do you not see the picture? No. Show me. Okay, check it out. And I want to know your honest thoughts, because people were kind of sh on me, but it's pretty good. Alright, let me see. Let me clean my camera. Here's the before and after. Wait. That's a considerable and noticeable change. It is? Yeah, it's good. I'm proud of you. You are? Yeah, of course. That's good. You should, you got to keep training. Of course, you're nowhere near on my level. I'd still crush you, of course. Well, of course, of course. Be, that'll be true for the rest of your life. I mean, you'll never exist at my echelon, ever. You'll always be miles below me. But you're a better version of yourself, which is what's important. So, you know? did I make you proud once and for all? Yeah, well, not once and for all, because you're going to relapse and f*** it all up. But currently, I'm proud of you. Currently. I'm not going to f*** it up. I'm locked in. Do you not see? Look how healthy I look. I look healthy. I feel good. I feel on top of the world. I literally feel amazing. I feel amazing. Are you in Miami or L.A.? Miami, full time now. I knew it would be one of those degenerate cities. All right, so you live in Miami, and... Uh, what do you do every day besides stream? Just go out and be co be popular. Lift. Is that why? I lift. Um, let's see what else do I do. Um, I lift and I stream. That's really it. And I sleep. I that's all I do. I'm a no life. I I just I stick to this and that's what I do. That's. So what am I missing out there in the world? I've been trapped now for almost two years, unable to travel. Tell me what I'm missing out on. Okay, let's see. Uh, I need to catch you up. Um, there's rat beef going on right now. I don't know if you care about that. Um, streamer beef. Tell me all about the rat beef. I super, I, I super duper care. I super care. Let's go. Um, well, okay. You're not really going to care. I don't really care. Can I just tell you what I've been on? What do you mean I'm not going to care? I just said I super duper care. You call me a liar. Okay. I said I super duper care. Okay, match. Like Metro Metro Boomin and Future dropped an album. Uh, oh. Whoa. Okay. And uh, Kendrick hopped on the track. Shit. Um, and they're basically coming at like Drake and J. Cole. And um, it's like rap shifting right now. So we've got to see what's about to happen. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. And, Whoa. And then, oh, and, then wow. and then Diddy just got caught trafficking girls. And, pe and pe he's a pedophile. You know, <laughs> I'm in a unique position to comment on this, John. <laughs> it's, it's kind of funny. You know, let me tell you something, Aiden. Something else, some more life advice for you. Being a horny will get you in trouble. In general, let's forget Diddy in his case and whatever it goes in court of law, innocent, guilty, that's up for him. He's going to work it all out. But in general, if you're one of them horny you know those dudes on Instagram, those Indians saying boobs, vagina all day. <laughs> yeah. If your whole life is just being horny, you're going to be in trouble. 
whether you're satisfied or not. Yeah. Whether you get the girls or not. Because if you have too many girls, you got stress. You too much, you're going to end up in jail for some reason or some kind of claims that have come against you. Or you're sitting at home all day jerking off, wasting your life. You need to just give up that horniness crap. You know, I've come to the conclusion that having sex with loads and loads of girls is pretty gay. You should have sex to make children because children are important. But if you just want to have sex with girls, just put your little pee pee in and out and then finish and go, yay, I had sex. You're pretty gay. That's gay. How is that? I would never have sex without the possibility of there being a child made because. Wait, so you, you wait, you stick that Romanian penis in a girl and you're expecting to, to come inside of her every time and create life? Firstly, firstly I am not Romanian. <laughs> I know, but what I'm but okay. So you you think every time Apo you apologize? I'm sorry, for misnationalizing me. I mi I hate That's that. Are you saying. are you cloned? Why do you care now? Are you soft now? Why do you care? I want to be factually correct on this stream. Fine. I'm sorry for the miss point here is being horny, and I know I'm telling you this because I know you jerk off probably like 18 times a day, little weirdo you need to get rid of that horny crap instead train hard worship god make money make some kids and just calm down if everybody would calm down none of this would happen but everyone's like oh i'm horny i need to six girls two dudes like just everyone just needs to chill two dudes as an example of what you're up to i'm not a guy okay anyways whatever I agree. Tell me more about this rat beef. Um, so yeah, that's going. I, the whole diss shit's going on right now. We're waiting for diss tracks coming in and out. Um, but the, the Diddy shit is what's big too. Like it's crazy as. Fuck. He got his house raided, um, for sex trafficking. Um, Been there. <laughs> and then. Do you live near him? What? Do you live near him? I don't know, honestly. I I think he like got his L.A. Rated, but Diddy was doing weird, shit, but he fled. He fled. He fled the country. Like he left, and he's he went to a, a private island or something like that. Did you tell everyone about it on your stream? Did, okay, was it really my stream that got you locked back up? No, oh it God. wasn't. However, however, that stream did go super viral, and let me explain how the world works, but especially how Romania works. Nobody really wants to have the... So when that stream went viral, there's obviously my PO and, and the judge and a lot of people involved in my case who started to panic. And they're like, oh, this is going to be very bad for me if he does run away, which I'm never going to do because I'm innocent. Especially as everybody knows he said he's going to run away. This is going to end up on my plate. So they all panicked and increased my surveillance and started following me in unmarked cars and all this kind of garbage because of your post. That happened. But I don't care. They followed, they've been following me around anyway, but that's the kind of thing that happened because of you. Because for some reason, I don't know why that one clip went mega viral, but it did. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, yeah, that was up. I'll tell you what, though. Um, how would you like to, once you're considered free, because all these girls are finally like taking back what they're saying about you. So once you finally get freed, uh, how about we? Uh, I take you out to some dinner. On me. What girls? What girls? I thought I thought I saw something like. Oh, oh no, bro! They never said anything about me in the first place. That's what I'm saying. That's si the point. Oh really? So then, what, what were they? What was the statements that were being said, or something like that? So you're saying that the girls have now changed their minds and are re removing themselves from the case. That's good, right? They, no, no, they they haven't changed their minds. They never said anything bad about me and never wanted to be in a case. Wow. From the beginning. The state made the case with girls screaming, saying I'm innocent. Me screaming, saying I'm innocent. Everyone saying I'm innocent. The state made the case. And only now, after two years, does the judge give them the chance to leave the case. That's so wrong. Bro, it's a matrix attack. It's a matrix attack. And they're doing it to me because I was ma massively influential, and they were scared of the of influence I had. Well, so they tried to. Well, you, well, well, you, you, you literally are part of the reason why this new generation 
clip farming is a thing, right? Like clippers and clip farming. You probably don't know what that means, but you are probably one of the biggest to do it. So they banned you on TikTok. They basically banned you everywhere except for X now, which is amazing. Shout out to Elon. Um, by the way, do you know Elon? But I was an instrumental in the breaking of the Matrix. If you actually time my cancellation, if you time me getting deleted on Instagram, that's exactly when people's consciousness start to awaken and understand that we're being lied to on every single level. If I had to martyr my social media accounts to awaken the next generation to the satanic rituals which they're living under, then it's completely worth it. So I actually have been massive for damaging the Matrix. Me alone, as one man, along with others, of course. I've been I've been monumental for this movement. Yeah, I agree. Um, so it's worth. It. Not is. Uh, wait, what did you what do you think about the whole Ryan Garcia? What's been going on with Ryan? I love Ryan, and I hope the best for him in all realms. Uh, he he says some things which are controversial and outlandish, but in the world today, it's really not so far fetched. My only concern is I think he should focus on his upcoming fight because he's got a, a difficult one. And he's no walkover. I said the same. I said the same exact thing, and people were saying that I'm. Wor I work for them. I literally said the same thing you just said. Yeah, but you can't be trusted, though. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm Chuck G. I don't sell my soul. I don't end up on lean. I'm not some dickhead in Miami jerking off. I'm not like you. I'm built different. You, when you say it is kind of like, mm, who paid him? He'll do anything for a buck. Think about. By the way. You know, I, um, I paid a rapper, a very famous rapper in my world, okay, probably like number one. His name is Playboy Cardi, to come on stream, and he scammed. I, I don't want. I don't. I don't know who he is. I'm sure he's a very talented man. He scammed how? What are you talking about? Well, he was supposed to come on stream for about an hour and talk to me about his album, and he came on and uh, basically did the exact opposite. He came on for five minutes, grabbed a bag of money, and left. Yeah, you're annoying. So it's be probably just you know that doesn't sound like a scam. It sounds like a robbery, G. Well, I want to ask you a question. Can I show you how he dress dresses? Do you do you do you carry or are you strapped? It's Miami, of course. Okay, so why did why did you let him just rob you like that? Well, he didn't get all of it. But look, this is what he got caught wearing uh, the day after. Why? You know, it's weird because <laughs> every single no, you're just you're trying to get me in rap beef. So I'm gonna end up getting <laughs> dry. I I don't want to get in rap beefs, dude. You're telling me about this rap beef and these people are doing this diss track and Lamar and Cole and I I don't really know who a lot of these people are. I'll be honest. I'm my my music taste is eclectic and i'm sure i've heard their music and i'm sure i like their music but i don't know their details of their life what i will say and this is not in any way aimed at the person who robbed you is that why is everyone gay <laughs> why did everybody just put, what why is everyone gay all of why is every all the entertainment industry the streamers on kick, all of no, you. No, hey. Why are you all painting your nails and doing weird shit? I'm not. I don't, bro. I can't even just wake up and say, I have a girlfriend and we have a family and I have children. I, I respect my family and maybe I have three or four wives and three or four baby mamas, whatever. That's fine. That's acceptable. It's normal when you're a big G. And I make my money and that's it. Why are you. Why is everyone gay? What have you done, Aiden? It's not me. You think it's me, but it's not. You are a you have a huge stream. Lots of people watch you. You must have done something. What did I do? It's just, and you know what it is? I watch, if I ever watch TV or anything, it's just like everyone is just so feminine and weak. <laughs> or, or the ones who aren't feminine think it's cool to like do weird. Is it just, a, is, are people just attention seeking? What is, what's going on? Explain this to me, Aiden. Well, it's just my generation, bro. It's it's up, and honestly, it's only the Western world. Like, it's not like that in like other places in the world, which I've realized. It's just it's. I'll tell you what it is. They're just pushing agendas, bro. They want basically the kids to be gay, and I'm telling you, what's going to be next? They're going to normalize pedophilia because when you allow 13 year olds to inject themselves with needle hormones that make them, 
you know, women and boys or whatever, like cross basically becoming a tranny, it really is bad. You're, you, you are, you're, people are allowing children to do that. So if, it's just getting bad, man. They're normalizing everything down here. It's really bad. You're to it's totally true. But why are all these famous entertainers not thinking, I have a huge platform. Young men watch me. I should probably not do anything that's too yeah. gay. Um, so I am aware of that. And I, you know, I, I don't think I do anything gay. Aiden. <laughs> Your whole version of comedy. Your pathetic attempt at being funny. It's sniffing chairs. Hey, you're 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 as bad as everybody else. No, what's wrong with you? You have spit right here. Lick your lip. Sorry. Okay, I listen, bro. I don't sniff chairs anymore. Oh, you're you're in, you're in rehab, bro. You're still sniffing I lift. I lift. No, no, no. You are. A I lift weights. I, mean, you're, you're, I am lean now. No, Give not anymore. Chair. No. How oh, are you going to talk? Leave your crib, bro. Leave the country, I, bro. Leave. I leave the country. I, I know. Can't. I can't leave the country. I know. All judicial authorities here publicly that I have no intention of leaving. Hey. Don't listen to Aiden Ross. <laughs> I'm staying here in Romania where <laughs> this gay shit isn't allowed. I'm staying over here because I, I'm scared to go anywhere near Aiden. He's weird. Hey, when do you want to go to dinner? Promise you've stopped sniffing chairs forever. I swear my life I've never, I haven't sniffed a chair. They, they want me to all the time, but I don't do it. Next time you sniff a chair, I want everyone to bring up the fact that you promised me that you've re, you've recovered from this terrible habit of yours. Last time I sniffed the chair don't was... Do it last time I sniffed the chair was years ago. Promise. And then next time you're around all these entertainers and stuff, I just want you to ask, why are you all gay? Just ask and find out. I need an answer. I'd like to know. I, I'm telling you why, man. These agendas that are just being pushed. So how do you think it works? How do you think they come to people and, and try and convince them to promote these agendas? Well, I'll explain it. And you know I'm not the best explainer, but you can kind of like understand what I'm about to say. So it used to be in this world, male, female, and race, which would separate us as equal, right? Like, and what I mean is segregation. You look at the world as a circle, like a pie, and you put a dash, male, female, another dash, uh, race, another dash, this, that. Now it's genders, and now it's all these weird little fetishes, and now it's all these, like, now you got real that are ruining the world. Like, so basically, everyone is going against each other, if that makes sense. They're trying to just separate people. When in reality, all the people need to stick together and go against the people that are trying to separate us people, if that makes sense. This is actually an interesting topic, and it's interesting enough for me to bother changing cam. So I'm going to go to my podcast studio and call you back. Okay. Thumbs up, Aiden. Go! Go! Hang up, old man. You don't want to use your internet you're that old huh no technology huh you have no technology knowledge hey hit the red button with this one here hit it oh, now i look stupid <laughs>